Hi friends, we'll learn how to add the background images to a page or to any element like div tag or a paragraph, any type of element and also we'll learn how we'll add background images to a table. So for that we'll use two images. So the first one and the second one, these two images, this green one is actually a small image. We are just zoomed it and displaying it. It's a five pixel width image and the text part is also. These two are images we'll be using by placing a different different way and we'll manage it through our style sheet. This is a simple HTML uh, with all the basic tags, head, HTML, stat tag, head, then body and, and HTML tag. So to this body tag, we'll add our image. So we'll say background equal to images. This is the images directory where this file is there. There is a subdirectory images. Inside that, uh, we have one file that green one, bz1.jpg. Now I'm just saving this. Right side is my the same file. I'm just refreshing this, see. So this image has, but this image has repeated. Let's just see the other image, how it looks so that is top two dot jpg that also will be repeated we'll see okay now this is where directly will you are not used any styles it now let's use some styles and then manage the image let's add the style here so we'll remove this up to this then inside our head section we'll say style then let's first close this Inside this, we'll write our style properties. So we are writing it for body. So we'll start and close it here. Okay, so we'll say background image. Now this URL, now images, this is my directory name. And I will use the green small one, bg1, jpg. So you can see the difference here. So let's just see that how it looks. So I saved it, refreshing this. Yeah, you can see. But was that this image, small image is repeated. Now if we don't want to repeat it, let's see the one time only will display. So we'll say background repeat. Repeat, it is no repeat. <coughs> so the value we are given no repeat. So I saved it. Let's run. You just see the image is here only. One single image. So uh, it is available at the top left. Now let's go for the top two. The other one without repeating. Top two jot jpg. Now there will be only one image. Here you can see it is placed here. Now let's uh, let's see how the same image will try to cover the entire screen or full screen will go. So for that we'll say background background size equal to sorry not equal to here inside property we are cover so let's say it it, will, it should fully cover you can see it this is stretched and fully it has taken now even we can change to the, our uh, bz1.jpg this will give a good picture let's see this is how yeah you can see this this is and it, it has single image no repeat we have used so you can judge it the top portion is little white and the bottom it is deep because we have used a gradient one so like that you can give different colors to the background also so this is no repeat now suppose we you will give it a repeat now it will change let's just see how it behaves no it will not because we have given the fully it is stretched so it is cover it has given so no let's keep it no repeat again now background size is there now what we will do instead of covering it fully let's cover it 50 percent so here we'll write 50 now again because 50 so height and width it, it, it is 50 percent we are telling it to cover so let's just see here here you can see it's covered 50% and here the gradient is clearly visible top portion is white and bottom is deep green so here it is 50% visible now let's just change this one to our uh, top two let's see that here it is so now to this we can let's just try this within this yeah you can see this is repeating because 
this space even the green one because the but the difference we are unable to notice here you can see it has repeated so this is all about background size now we can place the image also wherever we want we can position it so i will just background size i will comment it now repeat let's say no repeat where it will go it will i'll just see it is the top here now instead of that we'll position it somewhere so i will say background position background position it is left center now you see it is where it is it has left center this position it has come now you can say center center also let's see what happens you can move around now what we will try to do is we'll scroll this page but this picture also will remain at is it is like a watermark background you want to place it but we can text we can scroll vertically so we'll add that more uh, line breaks will give so it will uh, it will see we can scroll the page and but the image will remain uh, there it is let me write here background background position Uh, sorry attachment attachment is fixed okay so now the but i'll add some scrolling here uh, sorry here but inside the body tag i will say br now one more let me add bit line 1 now paste it come back wait let me take the entire copied line 2 no need to identify we can check it also okay so now there are three because lot of line gaps i have given here i'm just saving this refreshing okay line 1 line 2 line 3 still scroll bar is now where visible let me add few more one one more one more okay so many scroll bars are hey, sorry line breaks are added so it should scroll now yeah here it is it is scroll bar is available now you just see i am moving down moving up but my image is there it is so it is at a fixed location suppose a watermark something i want to give but i don't want other things to move uh, the image to move along with that suppose if i'll comment this line now you can see this will also start sorry i have to refresh it now this will also start moving it's moving now so same link let's me just and sorry i'll remove the comments and center let's say left why i don't know where it is okay here it is now i am scrolling because i have moved it at its this value is fixed so it is not scrolling along with my text and this is the background so if you can check it the text is coming over it let's add the background of a div element or any other element also we can take it so let's start with a div so here we'll say div dot d1 say we are that property we are uh, changing now here background repeat no repeat let's put repeat by default in fact it is repeat only so other things i am just commenting here this also i am commenting and here bottom are so many these things are not required i'll remove this everything and put a here i will put one div tag so div class i am giving one class d1 so the all the style will be available to inside this i am div tag with d1 fine so i'll close this now one more div but i will not put any class here just for the differentiation i am using i am just div this is the text i have written i have closed it so let's see how this background of a, any element how this behaves i'm just refreshing it you can see this so because height is not there so let just this div tag what we will do will 
give some height to this height let's give 200 so otherwise single line it is taking here you can see 200 line we have given i am div here the text whatever text i am written here that is coming now all the repeat no repeat you can experiment with that one now to just to confirm it we'll do one more thing uh, this copy this one and put it here so one more now i have saved this refreshing so it has come here in between this div doesn't inherit any property so this is just showing it so and you can manage no repeat suppose we'll say no repeat here now let's refresh this okay you can see it's not repeated so background size position attachment all those things you can add it i just copied two tables i'm just pasting it here you can see there are two tables table one is without any class and this one is the uh, with a class so there are around uh, seven cells are there so you can see td cells are all so we are numbered it now let's work on the style part of it so instead of div we'll use table here so we'll say table now this is we'll give uh, okay first one will not give anything now here i will remove all this up to this okay now here i will say background now url um, i am just keeping it the same so images now first one i am giving top 2.jpg closing it then in the here also i can shortcut i can write no repeat so this is background one i have given now let me just copy this instead of typing the second line so here i have put it now table dot for, this is for the second one t1 background is let me just give the other sorry here bz1 our other small image green image we are using both we are using no repeat so here you can see one table is will should take uh, top two jpg the other one should take the class uh, class t1 means the other one so let's me save this and refresh you can see this both the here the first table the background is written and for the second one here this one t1 we have put the bg1 means that green small one has come up both we have used no repeat now let's go to go and use repeat i have used repeat now you can see this has this has uh, repeat because that's why all throughout it has taken and this has also repeated so this is how and you can keep on experimenting with fixed and size and all all the things you can experiment that's all this is how you can use we have discussed about table and the div the same technique can be used for the paragraph or any other element in a span tag also any other tag your html tag you are using the same technique can be used to control it there are some other op properties are also there you can manage it well so you that uh, url about all these other properties are available at the description you can read that so that's all friends uh, request you please subscribe to our channel and share this with your friends and request them to uh, subscribe also if you have any doubt question suggestion or any ideas use the comment section below to post it thank you for watching